the British Carp Cups on YouTube is brought to you by Eclipse Baits. Let's feed them. So hello and welcome to the Southern Carp Cup final here at Cottington Lakes. This is a lake that holds some massive fish, fish to over 50 pounds. These anglers here could be breaking PBs and are all in with the chance of one of these whackers. Yes, we've got the cream of the crop here. This is from the qualifiers from the Southern Rounds, so all these anglers know what they're doing and there's a lot of lovely little features out there to fish to. We're really looking forward to it. Let's see what this competition can bring. As ever, it's a 48 hour competition with the highest accumulative weight of carp that will come at our winners. With the top four positions qualifying for the British Carp Cup Finals at Orchard Place Farm in Kent. So who will be crowned our Southern Carp Cup Champions? Let's find out. Round in peg eight with Tony Reynolds, Justin Shields. The competition is underway and Tony's into the first carp of the match. Tony looking cool in his shades, but I'm sure the nerves are jangling inside as it's nice to get that first fish in the net and under the belt. Whoa, big boil on the surface. And that looks to be a big carp that Tony's attached to. Tony opting to backline instead of using the wheels clutch there. Carp is on the surface where Justin is waiting with the net. Boom, it's in the bag. And the boys are looking mighty relieved there. It does look to be a good fish. Zip safely in the sling. The carp is thanked to the scale to record its weight. Yeah. 29 pound 8 ounce, the first fish of the competition to peg 8, Tony and Justin. Can smile as well if you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cracking start for the boys with this yeah, belting mate. common carp. Yeah, so I think now's yeah, a good mate. time to have a little chat with them. So I'm around in peg eight with Justin and Tony. Happy with your peg choice? Yeah, yeah, really happy with it. Wind's pushing in here, so uh, it looks like it's gonna stay for the weekend. So uh, hopefully that'll push some fishing. Because you don't actually get to, to like, pick your swim as such, do you? Because it's an out the bag draw, so the number you pull out is the, it's the swim you've got to fish. That's and uh, you had peg eight last time, if I remember, on the qualifier, so he was quite happy with that, yeah, wasn't you? Feeling lucky with the number eight, aren't we? Lucky number yeah, eight, yeah, eh? Yeah, definitely. Like you say, Paul, we qualified last time. Yeah, we're happy with that, mate. Yes. And yeah. Just so you know, me and Lee were fishing next door to these guys, and we blanked. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many we catch? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. So no, but so obviously I've just come wandering past, and as luck would have it, you got one on. Yeah. Nice twenty pound, twenty nine pound eight. Yeah, yeah. Just come out of the blue, and uh, yeah. First of all, we had a little bit of a take, and now you know whether or not we booked it or not, and then it was obviously coming towards us, so uh, kept winding down, and then it, into it. Yeah, played it. You know, in the in the right in the edge or whatever. And yeah, trying to lovely. headbutt the edge. It was, playing, it? Yeah, it was a some funny time. old fight, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. But it takes the pressure off a little bit because it's the first fish of the competition. Yeah, happy with that. We're just going to try even harder just to get another one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just going to keep pushing on, mate. See if we can get another one, and then see what we can. Good luck. 
lot, boys. Nice one. Thanks, Thanks very much. much. Cheers. Jay Cartmail and Simon Berry rounding peg two have their first carp. It's ready to be weighed and it looks like it's a nice scaly one that Cottington is well known I'd for. I'd say eight, mate. It's better than eight, but I'm not bothered it's an ounce. It is over in between the toggy eight for it, 32 eight, yeah? So there it is, Mick Coxon calls it, 32 pound eight ounces. Great start for Jay and Simon. A superb looking mirror carp and a fish that any angler would be proud to catch. What a fish. I'm sure this won't be their last great looking carp to grace the bank in this competition. A bit of banter between Steve Blow and Rob Burgess in peg three there. Whilst Rob plays this carpet, has been playing now for nearly 20 minutes. However, this is going to end badly with this fish being lost. And at this point, we had to turn the cameras off because the air turned a little blue. So I've been joined by Vernon, who's a regular at Cotterton Lakes. How do you think this match is going to go? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's true to form. Um, all that pressure that goes on straight away from the, the buzzer going off and the rods, all the rods going in. Uh, it does go quiet, but you can see it slowly picking up now. Um, and there's some lovely fish being caught already. And certainly with the wind coming into the corner still, uh, they're going to be following that wind in there. Awesome. So how would you say you was turning up to fish this match? How would you approach it? Um, my first port call would be certainly go into the old shop and have a chat with Paul. Um, he is the wizard of information there and, and have a look about the catch report that's been on in the last two weeks. And then come in, um, look what pegs are free and unfortunately with Cotterton it is very busy to look at the pegs. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, just richly have a nice silent approach. And, and what's been good about you know, seeing the match so far is every angler has done their homework and they've really approached it quietly. Um, exactly that, I've noticed that, they've not gone in and pulled a lot of bait, nope. just fishing for a bite. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and then um, casting the features and, and seeing that some lovely casting being on, bang on, dead onto the, the actual target areas. Yeah. And those that have got you know, the right areas have, have, have produced, um, but there are going to be more fish out without a doubt. Well, yeah. it's like so. Yeah. It's going to be a good match. It's, it's going to be a lovely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Thanks for that. Okay, all So it's Saturday morning and there's some consolation for Rob and Steve in peg three with their first carp at a competition. It's not the biggest in the lake, but at £13.15 ounces, it goes some way to relieve the disappointment of yesterday's earlier lost fish. They were really gutted yesterday. Rob and Steve are seasoned match anglers. They're well known around the match scene, so you can be sure they will be there or thereabouts come the end of this match. These pair can definitely not be discounted. Meanwhile, round in peg 12, the bailiff swim, Clifford Baker, Peter Howell have this lovely mirror weighing in at 22 pound 9 ounce, which puts these boys onto the leaderboard. Big smile, boys. <laughs> nice one. Another stunning Cottington Pepper Lake scaly mirror. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Happy days, lads. <laughs> Saturday morning, round in peg seven with Kevin Locke and Richie Collins, where they've had a productive night. Three fish landed, including this one at 21 pound, 12 ounces. It's not against the lot of smile either. <laughs> <laughs> now by my reckoning, this will put them into an early lead of this competition. So I'm going to have a chat with these guys to see what they've been up to throughout the night to get these fish on the bank. So, Kevin, Richie, it was a slow start for everybody yesterday, but you are our current leaders. We are indeed, and we were fortunate enough to, to pick up three fish overnight in about an hour and a half, so yeah, we're very happy at the moment. Yeah, you've had a 16, a 21, and a 31. Like you say, in an hour and a half, what's your tactics? How have you approached this? Well, we were fortunate enough to get peg seven in the draw, which commands quite a lot of water of the lake. So we've ended up having to roam our baits around tight to the islands. And uh, as I say, we're fortunate enough to pick up a couple of fish off, off the left-hand island where Kevin was fishing and one straight out in front of us. Did you do your homework before you come for this competition? Obviously, this lake is known for big fish. And there's a chance of a whacker. Did you sort of do some research, find out what would work, what would not? We fished the lake in April um, and on a practice, um, and obviously we, we've spoken to a few of the locals that um, told us what the what the local tactics are, and uh, we've used those in our, in our fishing. And touch wood so far, it's, it's worked. Well, it's worked to good effect. So we're only on the Saturday morning. Still a long way to go. Still a long way to go. Are you going to do anything different? Uh, we'll see how it goes till this evening really, if we don't get picked nothing up during the day, they may, may pick a few things, but as it stands at the moment we'll probably keep doing what we're doing, hopefully pick up one or two fish. Yeah, because the weather's set to change, yesterday it was a bit warmer and it cooled overnight, you caught the fish, with a bit of a rainy, rainy end to the day. Yeah, it's rain forecast this afternoon, so, you know, maybe it'll, maybe it'll switch it on, but, you know, the wind's not pumping down here anymore, which is a little bit of a worry, but... We'll just have to see how it goes and hopefully pick up another couple of fish to bolster our, our lead. Thank you for the insight, gentlemen. Good luck. Thank you. So here's what our Saturday morning leaderboard looks like here at the Southern Carp Cup Finals. And our current leaders are Richie Collins and Kevin Locke in peg seven with three fish for £70 on the nose. Followed by peg two, Simon Berry, Jay Carp now with one carp for £32, eight ounces. Tony Reynolds, Justin Shields, Peg 8 in third, with the first fish of the competition at £29, 8 ounces. Check out this beautiful creature, a lovely mirror carp for Clifford and Peter in Peg 12. At £31.9 ounces, this puts them in serious contention. An absolute stunning, stunning mirror from Pepper Lake at Cottington. Cue scary laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no sooner than Clifford and Peter return that £31 9 ounce mirror, they are into another hard fighting carp. As we look across the lake we can see them playing this fish. If they land this, it should take them to the top of the leaderboard. This absolute belter at £33.6 ounce takes Clifford Baker and Peter Howell to the top spot on the leaderboard. Clifford 
my, Cliff, my boy. Two car up in quick succession from the much fancied bailiff swim has propelled these guys into first place as we enter Saturday afternoon. Let's have a chat with the guys to see what they've been doing. What's that a few words? No, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> right, Cliff and Peter, peg 12. What a difference the morning makes. Yeah, definitely me. Three fish, 122 30s. Yep. You've got to be pleased. Yeah, me, definitely even I mean, I mean, go to any league and you'll be happy with that. You I would. Mean, Bruce, I feel it is. In the season. Yeah, well, yeah, even in the season, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, well, yeah, to back it up with a 20 as well. I mean, I'll move it to me, mate. Yeah, so you're the new leaders now as well. Yeah, yeah, which is amazing. Do you know what I mean? So, couldn't wish for anything better. <laughs> and there's 24 hours to go. We're halfway through the competition. So, there's a chance for another big one. Yeah, definitely, mate. Um, they're in there. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I've had two 30s now. Um, there's already been another 38. There's a number of 40s in there and a, and a couple of 50s. And also, you've got the biggest fish of the competition so far from Sanders, 40 pounder. Yeah, yeah, 40 pound four. Um, I mean, I mean, it's a massive fish by any stretch of the imagination for any league, but they're in there to be beat and I can see it happening the way people are catching. So. Yeah, and they're definitely in here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, numerous 40s, a couple of 50s. I mean, it only takes a couple of seconds, one bite, doesn't it? Here. Well, uh, might it be you that catches it? Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck to the both of you. Thank you very much. Peg 11 with a solitary Levi Letchford after his partner Darren Pierce has had to leave the match to be at the birth of his baby son. But Levi seems to be holding the fault with this brew of 31 pound and one ounce. Levi lost for words for once. Eleven pounds thirty. Back in peg three with Rob Burgess and Steve Blow, and the guys are slowly creeping up this leaderboard. They have a lovely comment of eleven pound thirteen ounces that is going to add to their weight. The only junior that's fishing in this event is Finley Noonan. He's fishing with Russell Monk in peg five and they have their first carp of the competition. Mick Coxon calls it. There it is, 14 pounds, four ounces. Big massive smile. Chicken. Chicken. That's what it's all about, being the chicken. Chickens. Chickens. <laughs> <laughs> there is some incredible action here at Cottington Pepper Lake. Pegs two and three with a double hook up. Jay Cartmel peg two, Rob Burgess in peg three. Both do battle with a carp apiece. A bit of concern that their lines don't cross to hamper them playing these fish. This fish is ready and it's into the net. That looks a really decent carp for the boys in peg two. Rob's saying this one isn't small either. Can he get this one into the net and safely landed? Yeah. 
Steve is ready to pounce with the landing net whilst Rob is concentrating on playing this fish. It's another epic battle, one that Rob does not want to lose. And the fish has swam into the net and Steve scoops it up. Relief for Rob and Steve in peg three. Well done, gentlemen. Oh, look at that. Meanwhile, next door in Jay and Simon's swim, peg two. The fish is going onto the scales. It's 30, 15, 40, 30 pounds, 15 ounces. 30, 15. <laughs> <laughs> Things are getting very interesting. So let's put Rob and Steve's cart on the scales now and see what this one weighs. Twenty eight pounds and thirteen ounces. Along with this one they caught a little earlier, we have a nice little brace shot with the boys from peg three. We're catching our leaders around in peg twelve. However, not to be outdone in peg 12, Cliff and Peter have just landed this absolute beauty of a mirror carp at 32 pounds, 12 ounces. This can increase their lead. But wait, the competition is about to get even closer again as Rob and Steve have another one on in peg three. It's in the net. We said Rob and Steve should not be discounting from winning this match, and it's not over yet. <laughs> oh, yes. No, it's 30. Oh, it's 32. Five. And at 32 pound five ounce, these boys have not given up on winning the Southern Carp Cup final. So, let's have a chat with them now with Lee to see what they have been doing. So it's peg three, Steve Blow, Rob Burgess. I'm going to start with a disappointment, lads. First fish, it hook pulled. After 20 minutes. 20 minute battle, what felt like a good fish, it fell off. But, let's move on. Where are we at now? Yeah, it's calling. Calling, yeah. Well, Rob's calling. It happened, didn't yeah. it? It happened. So, yeah. Been a good day. Five, five fish. Five fish around the hundred pound mark. Chasing yeah. first hard. Mm. Probably fifteen pound behind. Yeah. Think, yeah. But Roughly. your guy's success is backed the history of the other competitions throughout this year. Rob, you're four out of five finals. Steve, you're five out of six. That is some going. Almost machine-like. Trying. It's been good. Trying. It's been good. It's getting the results in the final as well. So if you're finishing the top four. Orchard Place Farm, another water where match weights can be good. Mm. I've fished there a lot myself. So we're looking you know the water. That one, yeah. And your swim, when you come out the draw, what did you think? Here? I was disappointed. Yeah, we don't know the lake at all, if we're honest. So we neither of us have fished here at all. I was so. under the impression that when it's warm, they get up here. And seeing by the weather, as you can see now, it's going to rain all weekend. Well, not all weekend, but... But it has been carpy, though. You've got yeah, to admit, the, the stormy the showers... Came, it, the fish up as well. Yeah, yeah it really so, did switch on for you in less than six hours. You've the fish are moving, sorry, it's moving on the pressure massively. So yeah. There's 
the lock. You don't, get, yeah, you don't get long on them, do you? You no. get half an hour, and then they're down the margin. Nick nice a bite as it comes, yeah. bait in the right spot. Yeah. Gentlemen, good luck. Let's hope it turns out thank well you for you. Much. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. So, Lee Bruce, Nathan Crowder, pick four, doing battle here. Another common. It looks to be a nice common cart. This fish is trying hard to get into the rushes to Lee's left, but Nathan scoops the carp up and it's in the net. A nice brace shot with another common, they land a little earlier, puts these guys onto the leaderboard. Need that, didn't you? Not too bad now, that sun's out, is it? <laughs> yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> nice choice in tanks as well. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> You're welcome. So as we go into Saturday night, let's take a look at our leaderboard. Current leaders Cliff Baker and Peter Howe, peg 12 with 5 carp for £146, 2 ounces. Closely followed by the chasing Rob Burgess and Steve Blow on 6 carp for £139, 12 ounces. Our early leaders Richie Collins and Kevin Locke are now in third position, still on £70 with 3 carp. And currently in fourth is Simon Berry and Jay Cartmel with their two carp for £63.7 7 ounces. It's still all up for grabs. So, as the night starts to draw in, Steve Lover in Peg 6 has just landed his first carp of the competition. £19.8. And at £19.8, eight ounce, he has managed to get himself on that leaderboard. So let's see what tonight brings. We have new leaders, Steve Blow and Rob Burgess, with this £29.7 7 ounces common. Smiles, boys. That's the one. Big smiles indeed. Levi Letchford, Sunday morning, peg 11, with this absolute chunk. What have you got to say, Levi? The second 30 of the comp, over the moon with this one. Um, a new personal best mirror. Yeah, we had a lot else to say, but they look like this. Cool, come mate. Well done on your PB, mate. Lovely, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's over the moon. One. Very calm there. He's stronger than he looks. Yeah, yeah no, he's, he's not even giving me a penguin or anything. Yeah. So these guys have yeah. just regained the lead. Clifford Baker and Peter Howe in peg 12 with yet another Cottington 30. This brute at £36.6 6 ounces, the Southern Carp Cup is going down to the wire. It certainly is going to go to the wire, Lee, as Rob and Steve land this common at £23 on the nose. We need to have a chat with these contenders, because this is getting too close to call. OK, guys, yeah. So I'm back in the peg with Clifford and Peter. You've extended your lead. Yeah. 
this time around, yeah. We pushed it and stayed there. So hopefully we're going to carry on and stay there. <laughs> what a cracking fish it was. Was it 36 pounds? Yeah, 36, 6. Cracker. You, you've got, I can tell you, we've got up to the mark now, so that's got to be good. Yeah, I would. I can see it was playing with your head, I can see Yeah, it. I just couldn't understand why I wasn't getting the takes. You know, I was only, one of my rods was a rod and a half links away from Fifth's, but Fifth's found his spots and he's just been nailing them like, and I swept the biggest one so far straight down, which I managed to find. So yeah. hopefully you'll get another one from now, but. Well, there's two hours to go. I've got a bit of news for you. Yeah. <laughs> Burgess and Blah have just had another one. Oh, no. Yeah. It's a, it looks like a mid-20, so you're still in the lead, so yeah, don't panic yeah. yet, but it's got to be squeaky bum time now, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, what, I think, what were we, 46 pound in front, yeah. you think? So, what's that? Well, if it's a mid-20, we're about 20, 20 pound yeah. in front. Well, there's only an hour of 50 left, so... I mean, it's looking good for it, especially on my spot off the edge of the island. I mean, that's why I've had most of them during the day. So, <laughs> hopefully we can nick another one and extend the lead, but... Fingers crossed for you, lads. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> so, I'm in the swing with Rob Burgess, hour to go. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been one of them. We've been behind from the start, really. We've never really led it, so... You've worked hard, though, haven't you? I've been watching you. Yeah, you just, you've got to play the game here. You can't be recasting every 20 minutes. You know, you, you set your traps, yeah. and when they come on that far margin, you have to pick one up. And that's what exactly we did. We picked them up in twos and threes. Yeah, and yeah. so we've had that bite, what, 20 minutes ago? It's close. Yeah, it's it's no, close. there's so many 25 pounders in there, and that's all we need, really. It's still all to play for, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're moving along. We've got a chance. Yeah, good luck to you. Cheers, mate. Third place, Kevin and Richie. Squeaky bum time, boys. Everybody in the chasing pack is hunting for third and fourth. What are your thoughts? Hour to go. We're, we're, um, we're a little bit nervous, to be fair. We've uh, plugged away for the last 30, 12... 36 hours, really, isn't it? Since we've finished. Yeah, and it's been tough down this end of the lake. Seven, eight and nine. We haven't caught a fish, well, it's been nice since 2 o'clock um, Saturday morning, so, yeah, it's, it's been tough. And watching all the other pegs up the rest of the lake, picking up the old fish here and there, we know we've, uh, we've got a long hour and a half <laughs> to sit on our hands. <laughs> to say the least, a long hour and a half. You raced out the blocks on Friday night, yeah. free fish, early lead, and like you say, from there it's been quiet for all the anglers. You say you've had the fish in front of you. What do you think's contributed to it being a little bit tough? Oh, so I've not really met a, light, mate, uh, met a late night, it's really, where all the fish are in front of you and can't see the catch them at the moment. It's been quite quite difficult, so... It was very frustrating last night. We had a lot of fish showing in front of us, but we tried everything. And unfortunately, we just, we just couldn't nick a bite. So oh, the sun's out. The fish seem to come up on the surface when the sun's out. It was a little bit of a tense moment from Willows for you to get in the final, final of the Southern. Yeah. It could be another ten to finish to go through the main final of the British Carp Cups. Uh, this this lake does throw up some some big fish, and as you say, it's, everyone's got a chance right down to I think you said fifth or sixth. You know, one one third. I think it's down to eight. But yeah. like I say, gentlemen, it is close. We wish you the best of luck. Cheers. How is this for a bit of excitement around in peg five? Young Finley has just landed his new PB at 30 pounds and five ounces. Well done, young man. <laughs> Great footage. Just look at this. What this young man has achieved at the age of 12. Fishing in this competition, done all his work on his own, put the graft in, tied his rigs, baited up, cast out to his spots. I think it's quite exceptional. This young man can be proud of himself. Definitely. Lovely job. Certainly one to look out for the future. Yeah. Well done, Finn. Well done, Finn, mate. Thank you. Good job, Mr. That's it. I'm going to have a little chat with Finley and Russell just to get their feelings. How have you found the experience fishing in the matches, Finley? Um, 
quite amazing, but um, quite hard as well to get like on time and got to get on point. So you're casting, you're baiting up, doing yeah. your rigs. Rumour tells me that you've been pre preparing for a week for this, tying your own rigs, yeah. sitting away in your little summer house out of the way, yeah. concentrating. Yeah, trying to do my homework about the swims and everything as well. That shows a real dedication to putting the effort into these matches and you've been rewarded with a PB. Tell us about your PB. Well, it was 30 pound 5 ounces and it was just an amazing scrap. As soon as I woke up in the morning I thought it was like all over no fish would be coming. But I have a beep in my rod and then the tip is just swung swung round to the right and I thought I'm in and it gave me like a long it gave me a ten minute battle and and when I got it in the net it just was an absolute chunk. It was a really pretty fish. Yeah. Something that any would anyone would be proud of and for someone like yourself it you know, words can't really describe how happy you'd feel with yeah. a fish like that. Well just to let you know, the sponsors of the YouTube series, Eclipse Baits of and donate, donate a little prize to you, a set of icon pop ups, a little, little baseball cap, something for your achievement. Thank you. Well done, gentlemen. No, thank Still you, an guys. hour to go. Let's see yep. if we can get a few more. That podium is that. just that far away. We're doing really touching distance, so we're still praying and hoping, and hope his luck can carry on. And the boy wonder shows us the way all the way to the final, eh? Yeah. Be lucky, okay. gentlemen. Thank, thank you. you. Three minutes, buzz out. <laughs> One minute. Few tense moments. Southern Cup Cup finals in the pig with their leaders, Cliff and Peter. Yeah. <laughs> and there it is, the final hooter. Yeah, I did, yeah, I just want to check nothing's been played in three, that's all. Okay. No, no, fine, we're fine, mate. No, okay. I think, I I'll give you our 2017 yeah, Southern Cup Cup, Cup Champions, okay. Clifford Baker, right, Peter Howe. The final leaderboard. First place and the new champions, Clifford Baker and Peter Howe, with six carp for £182, 8 ounces. Runners up and they run them close, Steve Blow and Rob Burgess, with seven carp for £162, 12 ounces. Richie Collins and Kevin Locke held third place with £70 with their three early carp. And in fourth place, this goes to Simon Berry and Jay Cartmel with two fish for £63, 7 ounces. They managed to sneak two 30 pounders which got them through in fourth. So I'm joined by Vernon Cole again, our lake expert. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the match, how do you think it's gone, Vernon? Um, yeah, wow, what a match. Uh, it's probably one of the closest I've seen, and you never get surprised by what this venue throws out. Um, true to form, the, the favoured pen pens, obviously 12 being the bailiffs, and, yeah. and three being that control in the channel, where they once produced, but it was close all the way through. It was very close. Yeah. I mean, Clifford and Peter, they both fished it well though, didn't they? A absolutely. If you, if you had the time to stand back and watch them, they, they took their time to find their spots. When they found their spots, uh, they stuck to them. Uh, yeah, and that's for Peter, when he, you know, on that left-hand side, having that 36-pounder out, he just worked at that. So, yeah. excellent angling there. Yeah, and it was hard work, you know. True to form, the fish you know, on the wind, we saw, we saw eight and we saw um, seven just fly off, you know, and they have three fish in an hour and a half and seven, you know, clinched their third place, but then that thunderstorm and the, the wind dying, really yeah, and you see them went back and, and and that's where those anglers took the form, in the channel pick, you know, five, you know, old young Finley there, um, yeah, 30 pounder, really yeah, PB. Yeah, and then, you know, true to form, you know, both Steve Blow, uh, Blow there and Rob, you know, picked them off as they were coming in and out, you know, and it was great angling all round. So tight, I've never seen a match so tight as this, but yeah, thank you. Clifford Baker, Peter Hill, six fish, 182 pounds, eight ounces. Southern Cup Cup champions, Peter and Clifford. What an amazing event. These guys fished their hearts out. They had four 30s up to 36 pounds. 
guys, sum it up for us. Uh, it's a hard weekend, um, like I said. Uh, we kept to our spot, especially Cliff. Um, absolutely done amazing. And um, yeah, we're, we're thrilled. <laughs> so um, I'm well chuffed for any words can't describe how happy I am. It's a great achievement for you both. Yeah, congratulations to the both of you. And do you think the beard helped? Uh, definitely. I mean, probably not just for me either. Oh. I, I know Levi got on and uh, rubbed the beard up a bit and he had I a couple. That. <laughs> Your partner repeat, he rubbed it and long and beyond he had a 36 which turned out to be, you know, the one that sold the deal. Congratulations to you both. Well done. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Well, Paul, it's been an absolutely epic weekend down here at Cottington Lakes in Kent. I've never seen fish that are such stunners gracing this bank with some of these anglers. Absolutely. What a competition. What a competition. What a 48 hours we've had. All the anglers have worked their socks off, but the rewards were there. And some of the fish, wow. Just wow. It was a close battle between first and second, and then all the other anglers that caught right from third down to ninth. You couldn't have predicted it. They were still tense at the end, people losing fish in the last hour. Yeah. It could have gone either way, could it? Every emotion, I think. Yeah. Every weather also <laughs> added to it this weekend. Yeah, it was all good fun, though. But we had a great time. Check out the videos on British Carp Cups Facebook page and on the YouTube channel. Yeah, and of course, if you want to enter, look at BritishCarpCups.co.uk. See you at the next event. See you soon. British Carp Cups on YouTube is brought to you by Eclipse Baits. Let's feed them.